है माई यूट्यूब फैमिली वेलकम टू माई अनदर वीडियो इस वीडियो में मैं आपको बताऊंगा कौन सी डॉक्यूमेंट्स आपको चाहिए टू अप्लाई फॉर द यू एस वीजा एंड वेन यू गो थ्रू द इंटरव्यू एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ इमिग्रेशन वेन यू इंटर द यू एस एके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड The first document that you need is a confirmation page uh, of your visa application that is called DS-160. So this is the document that you need to get printed. Okay, so you have to print this document. Once you have uh, filled your application, visa application form that is called DS-160. Uh, uh, उसके बाद आपको सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन जो भी है आपको वो वेरी केयरफुली देनी होगी उसके बाद जब आप सबमिट कर दोगे तो उसके बाद आपको ना ये इस एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म जो है वो ईमेल भी आपको खुद को वहाँ पे ऑप्शन होता है आपको कर देना है एंड देन यू हैव टू ऑल्सो गेट इट प्रिंट सो वेन यू वुड गो टू द यू एस एम दिस डॉक्यूमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अलॉन्ग विद दिस डॉक्यूमेंट you first have to have your passport okay so first of all you need to have your passport now if you have already uh, two three passports you need to carry those passports with you as well you might not not need them but you should have these passports so i had uh, another earlier passport so i um, got my passport renewed but i carried with myself it is always advisable okay i didn't need uh, this passport but i think you should have okay so uh after the your passport and ds160 another uh, uh, uh important thing that you need to have are your photos okay so two by two photos at least you should have two photos uh, with uh, yourself uh, when you are uh, going for the interview uh, the visa officer uh, not the visa officer maybe the one who would uh, first uh, check your documents uh, meaning if uh, he would see that you have a really appointment today or not he would uh, that officer concerned person would check your photos and he would might ask you how recent are these passport uh, these photos okay and then uh, you need to have another important document that you need to have is your appointment confirmation okay so this document uh is very important it is also uh already uh, when you show your ds160 it is confirmed that you uh, have the appointment but uh, uh, you should have a separate appointment confirmation page and then uh, you should have your service fees okay so this document proves that you have paid the service fees okay so this is a visa application fee so you should have this document with yourself now another important document that's very important very very important is your a uh, ds2019 now this document would be provided to you uh, by your university if you are applying for any study or any exchange uh, program like me so your university would uh, provide you this document on this document a lot of details are written how much money you would be given or uh, you, uh, the money which would be spent on your studies everything is confirmed here uh, so who's your sponsor everything would be written here and how long you would be staying there in the united states these things would be written and where you would be staying so these all details would be on your ds 2019 If you are not going for study purposes, then uh, you need to have uh, other uh, document maybe. So um, if you are, I think, if you are going for visa, uh, uh, if you are going for um, uh, visit visa, then uh, uh, I think you won't have, uh, you don't need this document. Okay, so maybe there would be another document, uh, uh, maybe your hotel confirmations or maybe uh, and your uh, bank statement. Okay. I didn't need bank statement. Okay, so visa officer didn't ask me that um, uh, show me the uh, bank statement because my expenses are written here and uh, 
uh, who's the sponsor everything is written on this document so i didn't need the bank statement so bank statement is also important document uh, you have to see which visa type you are applying for and then you uh, need to uh, make uh, your documents according to that visa type okay so another important uh, document that uh, i would like to show you is that <clears throat> Now uh, you already would have this uh, in form of FRC family registration certificate but uh, uh, before I got those uh, along with those I, I was asked by my university to provide sibling children and emergency contact information. So this document visa officer didn't need okay but uh, you need to have this document uh, uh, your university would need it okay and maybe at the time of immig immigration you would also need it and another uh, document that I had travel history and previous passport information so uh, this document uh, would list that where you have been to what countries you have visited already and uh, what were your previous passports and their numbers and all this okay so apart from this now comes uh, another important document that is um, um, invitation letter or you may call it a confirmation letter from the from the uh, program okay from the program that uh, uh, through which you applied for this program okay so uh, since I applied for my professional development and it is done by vision building future so this uh, letter I got from vision building future okay it uh, uh, clarifies that uh, uh, I have been uh, selected for uh, for teaching excellence and achievement program uh, as a primary candidate and it also lists uh, that um, what support I would get. For example, it's written support for J1 visa, pre-departure orientation in Pakistan, round trip the trip, trip to the University of Nebraska, Omaha, USA, and uh, program academic fees. Okay, housing and meals, accident and sickness, medical coverage, and uh, a round trip to Washington D.C. from the United uh, University of Nebraska, Omaha. A re entry workshop in Pakistan, an opportunity to apply for alumni small grants. Okay, so this uh, letter was given by my program through which I applied. Another uh, uh, letter which I got is from the university, okay, where I will be staying and where my uh, training would take place. So, this uh, is a letter from the University of Nebraska, okay, so it confirms that I have been selected and uh, the details of the program are written on this uh, document okay so apart from in-person uh, professional development training I will go through uh, the uh, training uh, online okay so for six weeks I will take uh, the classes online so these things are written on this uh, document it's uh, from the University of Nebraska Omaha okay so apart from these letters now Another important document that you would need is your English verification letter. Now, uh, the visa officer might ask you that have you taken a proficiency language test like ALS, ALS and TOEFL or TOEFL. So if you have taken that, you can show that document. If you haven't, then uh, you are, if your English proficiency has been tested, then uh, the university would provide you the document. Okay, so English verification letter. Uh, this letter confirms that uh, you have sufficient skills, okay, to uh, go uh, to the USA and uh, um, be part of this program. Okay, so English verification certificate is very important. Now, some of the other documents that I will show you uh, that you might need during the interview, at the time of interview or at the time of immigration or your university would require these documents. Now, family registration certificate, okay, FRC. Now, FRCs are of two types. Uh, first, FRC is of uh, your immediate family. For example, I'm a married uh, man, so I have uh, three children, so I got this FRC of my immediate family, meaning my wife, my children, okay? So, another FRC that you would need is of your extended family, okay? So, meaning uh, the uh, family regist registration certificate of your father, okay, mother and siblings, okay? So, uh, all of the members would be written uh, on these uh, documents. Now, 
uh, you might be wondering where you would uh, um, be, where you would get these documents from. Nadra, okay, would provide you these uh, uh, FRCs. You will have to visit the Nadra office uh, wherever you live. So there, you have to go in your nearby Nadra office, and you have to uh, tell them that I need this. So for getting FRCs, there is a certain fees that you have to submit and all the details uh, are, you would have to give. For example, if you are getting FRC of your immediate family, and then uh, your uh, children's bay forms, okay, your children would have to go in person to the Nadra office because there would be uh, photos would be taken, okay, and if you are getting the FRC of your extended family, then uh, you'll have to provide all the details uh, of your uh, siblings, their NICs, their, uh, their names, okay. So, uh, and uh, maybe uh, some of your uh, uh, family uh, members are already on uh, coming, uh, are shown on the family registration certificate, but if some are not shown, then you'll have to provide their NICs, numbers, and their names, and the date of birth, maybe. Okay, so now uh, two, three other documents that I would like to show you that you would need when you travel to the USA. Okay, so... Already I showed you so many documents, but still I would like to give you two, three documents. Now, this is a COVID-19 certificate, okay, immunization certificate for COVID-19. Now, this is very important document, okay. So, at the time of immigration, when you uh, are entering the USA, this certificate would be checked, okay. Along with this, uh, there was another certificate that I have got. It's uh, in my documents. I can't find. Let me see if I can find. That is polio card. Okay, so polio card and these uh, the, this COVID nineteen certificate you will get from uh, the website. Okay, so immunization, national immunization. Um, uh, there is a complete name of this website. I'll put in the description so you can go and uh, find. Uh, put your information and there is certain piece for these documents you will give uh, these uh, 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 that piece and uh, online you can also get these documents okay so everyone these were some of the documents that I uh, had to carry with myself okay to the US Embassy and uh, I also showed these documents exchanged these documents with my university with my program and uh, still i'll have to carry these documents another important thing that i would like to share here uh, is that when you would enter the us uh, us embassy this document okay ds 2019 now this is a document where the visa officer would put his or her signature and stamp and uh, and that so if the visa officer provides you the visa okay if he approves your visa he would stamp this document and this document will be returned to you this document uh, is very important you will need it at the time of uh, immigration also and uh, in the university as well because uh, everything is listed here okay your expenses your stay your duration your program your de program dates okay and also it verifies that you have been given the visa okay so this document you have to carry and uh, there are a lot, uh, there are other instructions also written on another page with, along with this document uh, about your uh, visa visa type okay and what are limitations and uh, what you can do on this j1 visa okay so guys uh, i hope that you liked the uh, and got uh, some of uh, the valuable uh, information okay and instructions so if you have already um, uh, plans your trip to the USA for studies or any other then these are some of the documents that you need to have so start preparing these documents if you uh, are willing to go to the USA so you can also start preparing these documents okay and um, another uh, document another video video I'll also share how you can what you should prepare in terms of your luggage and all these things so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already so please do it right now and don't forget to comment and tell me how did you find this video and hit the like button. Thank you very much. I'll see you in another video.